One of my favorite Audi models is the A5 convertible because it just uses kind of one design line and is therefore still very beautiful. And these ones are now the spy shots of the all new A5 convertible, the second generation of the A5 Coupe's topless sister. The model is expected to debut in 2016, maybe still as a 2017 model. You know, the model years are always like one year ahead of when they will be released. It's some strange thing from the automotive industry. The new A5s, both Coupe and Convertible, are going to be based around the same MLB Evo platform used by the Q7 and by the way also by the all new Audi A4. Through the use of high strength steel and aluminum for the outer panels, engineers will be able to save about 100 kilograms. Purely based on these photos, we can deduce that the A5 Cabriolet will become a little wider and longer, acting like a grown-up car on the road. That might also give a little bit more difference to the SOFA A3 convertible model. Styling is a step in the right direction, I think, but still has some hints of the older model. When the first generation A5 was launched, Walter da Silva said it was the best car he had ever penned. The new one, however, seems to be an evolutionary development of the current design. Even with the camouflage on, you can still tell that this car has a wide grille and headlights with a three-dimensional design. From the back, the LED taillights seem similar to those of the 2016 A4. The arch of the boom is really long, so you can't confuse this with anything other than the pure coupe, but there will be a four-door sportback version too. Powertrains will range from frugal to extremely exciting. At the Vienna Motor Show Symposium, Audi unveiled a new 2-liter TFSI that's set, set to produce 190 HP, yet consumes a diesel-like 5 liters per 100 kilometers. Let's see. However, there will also be plenty of 2-liter TDI models as well, with outputs ranging from 120 to about 220 horsepower. At least one e-tron model will be offered based on a diesel motor with additional electric power over the rear wheels. That will be exciting. Going up the range a little bit, we also expect the A5 Cabriolet and Coupe 3 liter TDI to be combined with a standard Quattro to deliver 272 horsepower, as we, for example, also seen with other models so far. The S5 could also be offered with both a petrol 3 liter and a twin turbo diesel. The RS5 will downsize from its naturally aspirated 4.2 liter V8 to a 3.6 liter twin turbo engine, nearly offering still 500 horsepower. Look for the all new A4 family to bow maybe at one of the next motor shows, maybe in Paris, let's see.